Okay, we are moving on to our last question of this paper, right? Which is 5.2. Okay, so what we have here is we have, um, it says here, it shows, so the table shows the number of seats in the 26th South African Parliament that was occupied by different political parties, right? We see these political parties down the side here. Included in the table below is the number of permanent and special delegates making up the National Council of Provinces since the 7th, since 7 May 2014 elections, okay? So what we have here is we have all the different parties, then we have whether it's special and permanent, and we have split by different province, right? So if we add all of them together, it's 90. And then if we add each of these columns, right, they'll tell us how many of the delegates are in each of the different provinces, okay? So let's now look at 5.2.1. So it says, state the number of KZN delegates in the NCOP. So we see this is KZN. Remember I said to you that if we sum down each of these, it will tell us how many delegates are in each of the different provinces. So we need to sum across the KZN column. So it's four plus three plus one plus one plus one. We can write that out, right? So it's four plus three plus one plus one plus one, which gives us 10 delegates. Okay, you can check that on your on your calculator if you do not believe me, but I promise that is the case, okay? Then, so that was kind of easy. They're just kind of um, wanting us to show that we understand the data that they've given us in the table, okay? So then it says for 5.2.2, it says write down in simplified form, that's quite important, right? And we'll talk about what the word simplified means. The ratio of the total number of permanent seats to special seats for the ANC in the NCOP. So the ANC, we see here, permanent. So firstly, let's not even look at that. Let's just see what the ratio they want. They want the ratio of permanent. Let's just write down what they want before we even jump into the numbers. Permanent to special. That's the ratio they want. Okay, and they want it for the ANC. I'm just going to write the ANC over there just so that we know who we're working with. Okay. So permanent is 33. So there's 33 for 33 permanent. There are 27 special. Okay. So in the ANC, we've read it off. 33 permanent, 27 special. So they want the ratio. So we've written the ratio there. 33 to 27. But they've asked us to put it in simplified form. Now simplified form means that there is no number that can go into these numbers in order to make this ratio more simplified, right? And by simplified, we mean smaller. So we know that actually three goes into both of these numbers, right? And if, if you sometimes like, you might be like, oh, that's all good and well, Margie, like it's easy for you to say, like you just divide by three. Yes, okay, that might be easy for me to say. Just test it on your calculator. Always try with, I always start with two and then try with three and then try with five, okay? Those are my go-to, two, two, three, and five. Those are the first ones you go to to simplify, okay? So two doesn't go into these numbers. I just did that in my head. You can check that on your calculator. But three does. So 33 divided by three equals 11. And 27 divided by three equals nine. So remember with the ratio, it is super duper important to remember this. What you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side. Otherwise, you change the ratio. So if I put you 9 to 33 to 9, I've changed the whole ratio. I have to make sure I do what I do to the one side, I do to the other side. That's why I always draw in these little arrows to remind myself, okay? So that is your final answer because now there's no number that can go into 11 and 9, right? There's no number that goes into both of them. So that is our final answer, okay? So let's go to 5.2.3. So 5.2.3 says, identify one party that has no permanent seat in the NCOP. Okay, so we need to kind of look down here. So the ANC has both, the DA has both, the EFF has both, the IFP has permanent, but not special, and the NFP has special, but not permanent. So what have they asked us for? No permanent seats. So we know that it is the NFP. Excuse me. Right, so it's NFP because they have special, but they don't have permanent, okay? 
Cool. You can also write the National Freedom Party, but NFP is also okay because they haven't actually asked us to write that out in full. Okay. They're just wanting you to, to demonstrate that you understand what you've been given. Okay. So now let's jump into our last question. It says, an incomplete bar graph showing the different types of delegates representing each party in the NCOP is drawn on the answer sheet, right? On the same answer sheet, complete the bar graph for the Democratic Alliance, for the DA, okay? So what I've done is I've actually already drawn it in, but I'm going to talk you through it. Firstly, when you're given a question like this, write these, um, your center number and your examination number in. There's no point doing the question if they can't actually attribute it to you, okay? So we see here that for each of the different political parties, right, they've put in the permanent, they put in the special, and they put in the total. So the total is the sum right, of special and permanent. So you see that this graph is actually a sum of that graph and that graph, okay? So let's go for the DA and go figure out what those are. For the DA, the permanent is 13. So do you see what I did here? I took a ruler. I said, okay, we know that that's 10, right? Let's count three up. One, two, three, and then I drew a line, okay? So that is 13. Then, right, it says um, we need to do the special. Special is seven. Okay, so what I did is I said, okay, there's five, count up, one, two, and that is seven. So then for the total, we have to say 13 plus seven, which is 20. If you can't do that super quick in your head, you can quickly check on your calculator, but don't worry about it, okay? And you'll see that that is 20. I've actually overshot there a little bit, but you'll see you just go across and you put it, um, you put your ruler there and you can see it's 20. You draw this line and you are done. Those are three easy peasy marks. And what is fantastic news is we have now finished paper one. Okay, so that's paper one. I'll try to do paper two as, as soon as possible, but I hope that you have found these videos helpful. Okay, cheers guys. Best of luck, eh?